That's so not even fair. Oh, well, Polyrath, uh, way to go. Yeah. I don't like that, sir. I'm going to use my Dragonite, so you can't hit me with a fissure attack. I should have seen that coming, though. Shows how bad I am at playing Pokemon. I played, like, like two months. It's, like, crazy. Huh. Anyways, if you didn't know, Dragonite flies. Thus, fissure and attacks like that won't hurt me. Oh, crap. Rock Slide can, though. Man, dude, this dude trio is good. Crud. I think I'll love it, though. Yeah, I'll love it. Nah, that didn't even do that too much damage. Okay, well, Surf's gonna kill you in one hit, mister. I hope. I'm pretty sure it will. Come on, kill him, kill, 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 kill. Oh, yeah, it's gonna. There's no way you can live from that. Yeah. Bye bye, Mr. Dog Trio. It's kind of unfair. How do you have three dudes and only get one Dragonite? Yeah, yeah, that's. That's. Dragon Trio. That's my Pokemon. He's. He's, yeah. That just looks like three Dragonites. No, it is not. Shut your mouth. Okay, anyways. Um, who did I beat? What did I have to beat a Pidgey? Oh yeah, I brought Jolteon, didn't I? Yep, I did. So let's kick some Pidgey butt. I like Pidgey though. Pidgey's cool. It's just like Pidgeotto. I like the Pidgeotto. It's cool. I like their hair. It's just like whoosh. It's like you know you're fast if your hair is that long. And using quick attacks. Which, man, what's up with that? Quick attacks. Ain't gonna do nothing to my Jolteon, because my Jolteon's an evolution. Yeah, I like Eevee too. I like all Pokemon, dang. There's very few Pokemon I don't like, like, in some way or form. He's gonna switch to it. Dang it. He's gonna switch to a ground type. Oh, it's dead Geo, dude. Well, that's good, I guess. Um. Yeah, Thunder's not gonna do anything. He's probably gonna miss, too. So that'd be even a bigger kick in the face. Yep, I called it. Alright, I guess we gotta switch back to Dragonite. The CPUs in this game are actually really smart. <laughs> I find it kind of surprising. Or maybe I'm just really dumb. That's probably a better thing to say. Alright, man, Dragon Knight, man, what you got, man? Got kick some butt, dude. Got kick some butt. Oh, yeah, he's using Bide. Ooh, I'm so scared of Bide. Just sits there. It's not even attack, you just sit. It's like, hey, I'm gonna use Procrastination. Procrastination failed. LOL. Whatever. Yeah, your Geoster ain't got nothing on my Dragon Knight. Word. I'm being hip now, apparently. I want some more water. I finally got a water ball. I'm so happy because I can sneak and like have cold water in my house. <laughs> it's a big deal to me. Dang it! All right, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Huh? I think um yeah, Surf will do like neutral damage to uh, Pidgey, so I might as well s spam that till I die. Which I'm pretty sure this Dragonite will kick Pidgey's butt. Cause uh, that's it's a little like. It's probably unfair to use Dragonite and Zapdos and stuff in these matches, but, eh. I mean, they're good Pokemon, and the game lets you, so why not? That's my opinion on it. And, yeah, use your Gust. You know, I'm flying type 2, you know. You know, I can I can fly. Which is a good point. Like, Dragon Dragonite's wings are so small, and he is so large. He's, like, gigantic. How does he fly? I, I want to know. I want to know. Someone explain me. How is he aerodynamically designed to fly? I will never understand. Yep, just ride that surf dragon that ride the surf where you're grounded. Forever. Good hit, Good hit. yeah, really. Wow. <laughs> I like how Pidgey like faints. It's like eh, eh, uh, uh, and it just falls over. And yeah, that's a uh, junior trainer male guy. Male guy. Man, see what your trio and your fissures, man. Who do you think you are? Anyways, we gotta fight Brock now. I'm kind of scared. I don't remember what Brock's Pokemon are. If I remember correctly, though, they're all stupid and bad. Yep, uh, that pretty much sums that up. <laughs> okay. So there's an Onyx, Graveler, Cubone, and a Vulpix, which are all weak to water. I we, we use Tangela, but I'm kind of afraid because he has those water and fire types. No, actually, what? I mean, yeah, I should I should use Tangela. What am I talking about? So I'm gonna th so, ugh, so I'm gonna throw Slowbro out there. Use Dragonite too and Tangela. I know I've been using Dragonite a lot, but let's face it, he, he he's pretty good, alright. He's he's the original Dragon type Pokemon. He's he's a monster. Anyways, now you're gonna see Slowbro in action. I mean, dude, dude, just look at his look at that magnificent form. It's just he he knows what's going on. Slowbro is, quite frankly, a genius. Alright. Come on. Oh wow. Do not hit me with Fissure. I will I will punch this TV, I swear. Oh good. I actually like this TV, so I don't want to break it. Uh, Anyways, 
how, how does Slowbro even serve? No, no offense, but he's kind of fat. Okay. Uh, and stop at like complaining. I don't understand how Pokemon do things. Be be be. It's like, oh, it's a video game. Shut up. I hate when people do that, but then sometimes I do it. And yes, if people are wondering, the thing on Slowbro's tail or biting his tail is not poop. Like I thought it was originally. I'm like, ew, that's gross. Ew. Oh crap, that, that Kabuto has Ice Beam, doesn't he? Crud. I know he does, because I remember that. But it's actually a shelter that bites Slowbro's tail, and uh, that's how he, is, he evolves. It's kind of funny, actually. I like that. And I actually get to see Tangela, and it's 3D glory. I love Tangela. He's awesome. Yeah, slash me. Oh. D oh, okay. I was unpleasantly surprised how well he took that damage. Okay. So you can use a Mega Drain, which will be four times effective on him, unless he uses Ice Beam and kills me. No, nope, I'm faster. All right. All right, Mega Drain that Mega Drain, dude. Just drain the crud out of him. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Good job, Tangler. You uh, prove you're um, you're very useful. Now, I'm thinking his last guy's gonna be a uh, Onyx, because he usually uses an Onyx, which I don't know why, because it's a bad Pokemon. Up oh, there, yeah. He's pretty predictable. Or predictable. It's still a really cool looking Pokemon though. I like its tail. It's all like drilly. It's like. It's like a drill on the ground if you needed to. And he's going to use Bind, or as I like to call Procrastination, because, you know, it's just stupid attack. Ugh. Oh, crud. This is the kind where I can't move. Crud. Oh, you better not do this for like ever, dude. I'm going to be ticked the heck off. Could do something else. Good. Oh, my gosh. This is going to take forever. And the, and the worst thing about Bind is I can't... I don't think I can switch out. I'm going to try, though. If I can, then... Good. Oh, I can. Okay. Man, there's been a lot of perps in this episode. I, I ate breakfast like three hours ago. I just tried working out last night and like I waited a couple hours before I ate. I had to do it and I still like got cramps and stuff. I was like, yeah. It's like not good. I don't know why I told you that. That's kind of gross. Anyways, Dragonass just going to read that surf and be like, nee, 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 nee. I like how he puts his hand on his hips like, you need to clean your room, sir. Mm, who do you think you are, Mr. Onyx? Binding my Tangela and stuff? Yep, and there we go. That's a clear, I guess. Huh. This episode's kind of going long, so I'm actually going to show something off. Which, um... Eh. I don't, I, uh, do I show it off or do I not show it off? That is a good question. Good question indeed. And yeah, we beat the pewter gym! Alright. Now we can go do the next gym, which... And uh, the Brock gave us the key for Misty's Tower, so we could go do that. But like my recording time's at 18 minutes, and I don't like uploading very long episodes, so I'm gonna split this into two. And I'm gonna show you some other things. All right, this is the Game Boy Tower. All right, if you um for people who don't know what a Nintendo 64 is uh, or the controller looks like, it has a little slot under it where you can plug a attachment in and play your Pokemon, your uh, Game Boy Pokemon games on the Nintendo 64 in color. On a TV screen. Kind of a big deal in like 1990, whatever. So, yeah, you can do that. And also, there's um, Free Battle, which uh, I'll go do real quick. You can battle your friends, but I don't have any friends, so I can't battle anybody. I, so, I usually just did one player in computer and made myself fight a bunch of Diglets. I mean, not Diglets, uh, Caterpies. And that's what I did, because I was a lonely, lonely child. And uh, over here, we got the Hall of Fame, which, um, as you beat uh, the stadium matches, yeah, I'll try and. Uh, go to them real quick. Uh, you will actually get Pokemon just like 3D models in here and it's kind of cool. What, what did I just beat something with? Wow, this is going to take a while. You know what? Screw it. I'm not doing it. Whatever. Yeah, it's a little cool. Um, the Professor Oak's Lab you can also do in this game. It's kind of a, a cool thing, but you also need the uh, Game Boy Pack. That's how you transfer your Pokemon and stuff. See, like you could actually uh, play with your Pokemon from your Game Boy and put them in this game and go beat the stadiums and stuff. That's really way too easy. Uh, I wish I could do that, actually. And then we have the, probably the most famous, or infamous, I guess you can call it. Because some people don't like it, which is the Kids Club. And this is where you can play a bunch of mini games and have a bunch of fun. I'm not going to play them right now, though. I might do that for the finale or something, because I'm really bad at them. But yeah, there's uh, nine mini games you can play, and they're, and they're not all fun. But I especially like Sushi Go Round. And uh, Run Ratatata Run. <laughs> Uh, those are just my favorite. And the worst one of all, Magikarp Splash. That one's so stupid. Ugh, so dumb. So dumb. Anyways, I think this, this episode has gone on long enough. 
So the next video, we're probably going to either do some more of the stadium or more of the uh, gym leader's castle. I can't really decide. So uh, leave a comment or something if what I should do. So I guess I'll see you in the next video.